Hey folks, Krusty Old Marine. Today we're going to do part three of the uh, Ruger uh, 6.5 Creedmoor accurizing. Okay, I hope this test well, goes well because I've got a uh, new trigger on here. I got a jarred. It's eight ounces. So let's get to it. All right, this is cider one. All right, at the lower left hand. Well, that was nice. But we got an issue with that trigger. Well, crap. All this for nothing. So y'all ever have a day at the range like that? Yeah, I think we all have. Um, you know, I was disappointed that I didn't get to do the test, but I'm glad I didn't waste any ammo. And I was pretty sure that the problem had to be with that new trigger. So I put in a new trigger a couple of months ago, have not had a chance to fire the rifle. I got this jarred trigger for Ruger Precision Rifles, and this one is supposed to be eight ounces. When I got it and put it in, did all the adjustments to it, um, it would not go below about, uh, well, without adjusting the sear adjust and the over travel, I couldn't get it to go below about 11.8. So started messing with all those things. I was able to get it down around 9.5, but I had a problem with um, when I put it back together and testing it, the, uh, the safety on the rifle was not working properly. It would, you know, if you slam the bolt home a little bit too hard or a little bit hard, um, you know, the rifle would fire. It would just completely bypass the safety. So that is no bueno. Um, adjusted it back out to uh, uh, not quite the factory settings, but with tweaking on the uh, sear, the over travel, and the uh, trigger tension spring, I was able to get it around 11, I don't know, 10, 8, 11, something like that. Um, and get the safety to work properly every time. So, you know, I did lots and lots and lots of testing on that. I even called Jarred at the time and I'm like, hey, I think you guys sent me the wrong thing because they had an 8, a 12, and I think a 16 ounce uh, trigger spring. And he said, nope, nope, those are all tested at the factory. I'm like, well, who tested it? Somebody that knows what they're doing or do you have Bubba that you got out of the day labor camp uh, doing it? Anyway, I think the wrong spring got put in, in it. I uh, called them after I got home, and they are sending me an 8-ounce spring, we hope. And I will compare that to the spring that comes out of it. We'll see if we can see any visual or measured differences. I did measure the spring on this thing, but, you know, it's just kind of the uh, diameter and the length. I uh, really didn't try to measure, you know, the the diameter of the wire that makes a spring. It's really, it's really tiny. But anyway, after yesterday, I knew that had to be the trigger because y'all, y'all saw all the trigger pulls and you know, no, no striker. There was first round. I tried it a number of times. Thought, well, you know, maybe it's just a bad. Nope. No firing pin strike on that. The third round. Nope. No firing pin strike on that. So I brought the rifle home, readjusted the trigger again. Took it all back to factory settings, uh, got the spring tension back, and about the best I was able to get is a consistent 11.5 to 11.8. Um, so after I readjusted the trigger, I tried it out again. I used an empty case. That one has been sized. It's ready to go. It's ready to put a primer in and load. Um, put a piece of masking tape over the back and still wasn't get a firing pin strike. So... But it, it functions perfectly as far as I can tell. And um, still waiting on that eight ounce spring. So the next thing had to be, well, you know, I'm not getting a firing pin strike. So is my firing pin broke. Is something in the bolt uh, broken? So I took the bolt out. The bolt on a Ruger Precision is not supposed to be that hard to get apart. I had a devil of a time getting the shroud off. And when I got it off, this is what it looked like. And that, I believe, is why it was so hard to get apart. You can see the shroud right there. I don't know if that uh, camera will pick it up, how it's boogered up in there. Um, and that piece right there is called a cocking piece slash firing pin uh, back. And there's the other piece that go to, goes to it. So I believe that's my issue. Um, I looked on Ruger's website 
and I was doing a lot of research about, you know, what could these problems be? What was this part called, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and on Ruger's website, they had this uh, safety bulletin. So evidently in the rifles just prior to my serial number, this shroud did not fit properly. And it says you can have misfires, you can have firing issues, the rifle may not fire. Um, I believe that that ought to be expanded to rifles that also start with a 182 serial number like mine um, because I believe that's a little faulty. And in fairness to Ruger, a uh, little bit of it may be on me when I was testing this jarred trigger. You know, I went through <sighs> hundreds of cyclings. Some of them were pretty forceful because I was trying to test the uh, safety out, make sure the safety on the new trigger was working properly. Um, and just hundreds, you know, tweaking the trigger pull weight that it's got to be a 12 ounce. I'm really waiting on that eight ounce spring and we'll see if it uh, actually does the job. But anyway, I did not order this part from Ruger. I probably could have got one for free, but in my research, I found out that, uh, this part evidently is a process I'm not familiar with. They call it uh, metal injection molding. I know about plastic injection molding, but I never knew that they did uh, metal, uh, any kind of metal that way. I don't know. Maybe it's not a metal injection molding. Maybe it's stamped. Uh, I really don't think it's CNC uh, machined. It can be stamped or forged. Um, anyway. What I found that I'm going to replace it with is one from A&D. A&D Arms, I think, is the name of the company. I found it on uh, Anarchy, uh, the Anarchy website. And it is out of 4140 steel. It's much stronger. And while I had it apart, I figured, you know, why not order the upgraded firing pin, too, and the uh, upgraded shroud retainer? because these are known to fail after 1,800 to 2,000 rounds. I'm not even close to that, but I've had one failure. I don't want another one. Ordered the uh, new parts, and I ordered the uh, fluted titanium shroud that you see here. Um, that stuff's not going to be here before I have to go back to work, so it's going to be a little bit of time before I get to see it and put it on. But uh, <clears throat> I also ordered the Big Bertha uh, bolt knob, uh, it's it's bigger than the uh, factory one. I've got pretty good sized fingers, and I think I'm really going to like the increased size and the uh, the little groove in it. You know, place a finger in that groove. But anyway, you know, when I get all those pieces in and can get the rifle back together, we'll continue with the uh, part three of the Ruger Precision Rifle and 6.5 Creedmoor accurizing and uh, load development, and we'll finally get to run that test. The good part about yesterday is I didn't waste any ammo, so... Till next time, uh, remember kids, X's win matches. Keep the greasy side down. Y'all have a good one.